which is inside, on the inside of the house, inside this old closet up here. The whole, the whole piece of plywood has to come out. And I suppose that this piece of trim plywood there was to hold the bees back because I've got a signature right there for um, bees. Hold on just, just a second. Let me get my little handy dandy tool. Let's see here. You can see where the bees are right up here in the ceiling. It's, there is like a triangle void that's in this area because of where the trusses are. Where the bees are. So I can see where they are, they're right there. And so I think because of the bees coming in the house, that trim piece was put on there. And that's irrelevant. We're gonna take all that off. We're gonna take all this off. We're gonna take this part of the wall. This is an unfinished closet in a very old house. You guys, I got like an 80 year old house, very old. And that's where the bees are. So um, let me take you to the outside of that wall, right there in that corner. We'll be on the outside. You, know. you see, see what we're dealing with? We got these huge timbers. But inside the closet, we're going to have a void in between those timbers. So it's going to be about a six inch void. All right, so that's the ceiling right here. And then there. So we got, this is on the outside of these trusses. Does that make sense? So there's a void in there. And only that, there's another hive right there in that corner. This house has two. So let me show you what I'm dealing with here. <clears throat> so here is the inside of that closet the bees are coming in right there you see how the trusses come in there's going to be a void on the other side of that wall it's very similar to this one it's going to be a triangle is where this hive is going to be located but then on the other side of that room as i told you there's another hive and they're right there but they are going to be, see how these trusses are? Get back out. You see how the trusses are? They're going to be in the void in between this one and probably this one too. So I'm going to have to cut those, those boards out to get this, this hive out of there. There's no doubt it's two. This is a very strong one. On this extraction. gentle hum of the bees. Okay. You can see the bees on there. I can hear them humming. They know I'm coming. So I got a piece of equipment. That's new. This box right here is a bee back. And we're going to be using that, okay, and also these are going to be attracted to this light too, so that'll, that'll be okay.
this is a very old house in Miami. Cut that with uh, my razor knife. So what they, what they tried to do was seal the bees in. That's why there's two pieces of uh, wood here. Just to seal those bees in. They were probably coming into the house. You see how they're all flying around me now. They're really attracted to this light. They're not attracted to me coming in here until I take this big sheet off. And then they're going to be like, what the heck? And they might be a little bit pissed. So we're going to find out if these are gentle bees or if they're going to be um, have an attitude. So it looks like I might. No, nope, there they are. I feel bees bumping me. See, like this one right here? They're not stinging. But they are bumping me. See? They got one there bumping me. Just landed on me. Okay. Be the aware that when I pull this next sheet down. What? Okay.
right, you guys. <laughs> so let's take a look. Let me turn this light on. Hold on just a second. You hear me? Can you hear me? Let me turn this around. Let me turn this around. So do we. Man, I look like <laughs> I've only been stung like 30 times. I've been stung a lot during this one. So here is what it looks like up there. Those are all bees still flying around. I don't know if I got the queen or not. I never did see her. And I think I was running this vacuum a little too too hot, a little too, a little too powerful, because um, there's a lot of dead bees. <laughs> so I'm hoping I didn't kill the queen on this. But there's there's a lot of uh, upset bees up here. You can see there's the void up there that they were in, and. Um, I try to put them in this box out here. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm a little drowsy because I've been stung literally probably about 30 times. I'm not. I'm not even kidding. They, they got me in the, in the face. I got stung right here, but I've been stung in the hands, the arms, and under the arms a lot. Okay, it looks like they might be going down. I did. I killed a lot. Guys, as you can see, this really cool. They generate a lot of heat. I really hope I didn't kill the queen. Here's the comb that I got here down in the bucket. That's really just some, like, just some bee bread and some nectar. There's no cap honey in this, so. We couldn't harvest any honey. I can harvest the the, the wax though. So, um, see, there's no caps honey on here. What you see there, cap there is is drawn comb. And um, so I'm just gonna render that. Uh, and this is all drawn here. What you see coming out, that's drawn. A little bit of, little bit of um, brood, but for the most part, I got the brood in the hive. Very strong smell of honey. Very strong smell. This is really good honey in this area. And um, have a very familiar, this is very much like Hawaii. Um, I got, got mangoes. It says it's mangoes everywhere, but also, check it out. this up. The bees love Mexican Mexican sunflower. And there's tons of it here. And this is very much like Hawaii. And zone 10, zone 11, 10, 11, something like that. So the weather is very much like Hawaii. And um, yeah, so my first one Got them in the trap here or in the, the v bag. It's a vacuum. It's a v bag. See? Colorado v bag. And um, I'll come back tomorrow and check out. They got a lot of, um, lot of bees flying around this comb I got here. A lot of honey. And bee bread down in there. And uh, I'll come back tomorrow and check it out. So, a very stung, 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 and swollen stung. <laughs> I think, mean, you know, being stung that many times, it can make you kind of delirious. So, I'm gonna probably go take some um, Benadryl or something after this. My face is a little swollen. My hands are, and arms are, <laughs> they're like Popeye. You know, Popeye is so. Look at this. Swole, swole, swole up. You can see it swole.
all under my arms. Um, I lost count. It was somewhere around 20 or 30 stings. But we'll come back tomorrow, check them out, see how they are, and um, go from there.